We just launched into a table at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're new to this version, look for links in the video description below. I am going to hold my shift key down and I will click on tiles that I want on the opposite rack and that way it will arrange my tiles by suit for me. I like to have my cracks, Winds and Dragons on the first rack or the top rack, and then closest to me I like having BAMs and DOTs. Then I look at the strengths and then I rearrange based on the strengths. So here we do have a lot of 2, 4, 6, 8, but we don't have the right twos. See the 4, 6, 8 up there? No twos. We do have 3, 4, 3, 4. Maybe we could play consecutive run and six, seven, eight. We do have north and east, not the right nine. We're the dealer. Let's give up the wins and collect number tiles. Mm -hmm. So I want to see who we're playing against. I wonder if I can do that. Let's see, table info, creator type, player. Okay, we are playing with a live player here. So there will be strategy and we will be able to use joker bait potentially. So maybe I should have held those wins for joker bait. So part of what I'm thinking here is either 2468 with the cracks or 3434. Ooh, we got a nine. Let's get rid of the three. Maybe we can play the news concealed hand. We've got north and east. So we'll get rid of these tiles here. Maybe play the news concealed hand in two, four, six, eight, or three, four, three, four. Consecutive run, second from the bottom. And this would be what I call a divergent strategy where the two hands do not share tiles. Now the year 2019 does have a two with the consecutive range or evens, but green dragon. Oh, we got a nine. Let's get rid of the north. So North I'm thinking three, four, three. Oh, I got rid of a three. I needed that three. Well, maybe we could still do two, four, six, eight. Let's get rid of the green and the nine. And if we get the three crack back, there are three more. Maybe we can recover that hand. We have other things we could play though, because we have all the sixes. Maybe we could play like numbers with sixes. We'll get rid of these before we have to decide. Okay, I'm trying to clean this up a little bit. Okay, why is it not letting me? Seven bamboos. It's not letting me arrange my tiles the way I want to. Okay, we'll get rid of the one. One dot. Okay, there we go. I think we got it now. So we're going to get rid of south wind. Oops. Oh, we got a west. Nine characters. Okay, we're going to get rid of the eight. Two, zero, one, nine with news. And then the other hand could maybe be like numbers with sixes. But if we get the two crack, we could maybe play the first hand. If we get a three crack, we could maybe play second from the bottom under consecutive run. We really don't have to make a decision One yet. Character. We got the two crack. Let's get rid of the seven bam. Seven bamboo. So we have two, four, six, eight, no gaps. And this would be that divergent strategy theory where the hands do not use the same tiles. So 
We won't be having to battle our own hands for tiles. So I'm thinking like numbers with sixes or two, four, Seven six, eight, characters. and we'll use these as joker bait here. Let's get rid of the eight first. Eight dots. And then we'll get rid of these last. We'll get rid of this dragon next. So two, four, six, eight, like numbers with sixes, and then a year hand. Any two, whatever comes in. I think we're waiting for a discard. One character. Okay, we already discarded that. Seven bamboo. So the news hand with the year is concealed. The 2468 Green. hand is open. We got the south. We got news. Green dragon. So we have the news block. Singles. We need a two bam. Let's pull up the game helper. Seven characters. Okay. We do not need a five. Five, six, no. Five bamboos. So we have four multiples that we may or may not be able to use. And we'll just wait to see if we get either a two crack or sixes. But we'll start discarding these two pair here, the three and four. I'm thinking the three first. I don't see a lot of little numbers One out there. Character. Well, besides ones, anyway. Nine characters. Nine characters. We got a five, and I threw away that five. Bam! Let's stick with it. Two, four, six, eight, or like numbers with five sixes. Characters. And I believe you get one minute to make a choice. Is that right? One minute. Four bamboos. Here we go. We don't need a west. West wind. There are no two cracks out. No flowers are out yet. And west no wind. no eight cracks are out yet. We do not need a red dragon. Red dragon. So I just want to hold these two pairs as long as we can. To see if maybe we can get a joker using them as joker bait but you've got to hold them maybe till the middle of the middle game before the fourth wall so that would be right about where the green dragon is in that first row of discards that's right about the end of the middle game so six bamboos okay we are not ready to kong on that all right, let's get rid of the three. Three dots. We could maybe Kong the eight. We still need a Pung of Flowers. Are they going to Pung that or Kong that with a Joker? That would be nice because I have a three that we can use to get that Joker. They're thinking about it. I guess they didn't want it. Maybe they need the four. Four bamboos. Let's discard five. Five dots. So you have one minute with each pick or discard, apparently, because there we're on a timer and I see Four it counting bamboos. down. Okay, there's another joker. 
we could maybe dark. use that with the flower or maybe in here this is concealed down here so we have to draw that we might be able to use that up here there's still no two cracks out and I'm hoping that these pauses with the three and five mean that maybe they need two the four dots. two three four dot there's a pause for each one of those so maybe they need these fours Two bamboos. Another five dot. Five dots. There's one two bam out. We need a pair there, so this is a little risky because there are only two left and we need one of them. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Maybe we could change to three, six, six, nine with dots and bams. Characters. Okay, that's a pair. We don't need that. Red dragon. Two, four, six, eight. The two and the four are pairs for that first hand under four evens. Characters. There's a nine bam. We really don't need it, but I want to hold it in case four we have to dots. change our hand because the two bam, oh, and they didn't want the four dot. Uh, the two bam until we have that pair I need to have a plan B the plan B could be the second hand 2019 Pung Kong Pung Kong so let's try to stay concealed with this hand up here so Three we can dots. use the jokers if we need to switch three characters We could still maybe play Green Dragon. The okay, there's a flower. Let's get rid of the four. We could still four play dots. like numbers with sixes. As a matter of fact, we're one away. We're actually set for like numbers with sixes. We have to use all our jokers Green though. Bamboos. Nine characters. Right here, like numbers with sixes. We could Kong all through there, and only the six bam is out. Three bamboos. There's the two, and it's six one half dozen the other. At least with the sixes, we don't we can we six can bamboos. lose one of the jokers and use it down below. So let's go ahead and put those down there. Maybe maybe we need to use one of these jokers for the eight though. White dragon. Okay. Don't need a north. North wind. This is for something. Oh, come on, get down there. All right, now. Red dragon. We don't need an eight bam. Eight bamboos. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? White dragon. Okay, this is a concealed hand, so we're going to pass. Three characters. All right, now we're ready to go here. Pung and Kong. Three Pung the flower, Kong the eight. Down here we have to draw, so eight we're three fingers. away from... Two winning hands, three discards, two ready, I should say. There's one two bam out. That's the weakness at the moment. No eight cracks are out. And we have joker bait with the sixes, the six dot. Okay, we're waiting on a discard. Two characters. Pass on that. 
We got another six crack. We already got rid of our six, our sixes. Six bamboo. Let's just stick with it. The six Seven crack here characters. is supposed to be a pung, so we're good there. We need an eight Seven crack bamboo. here and a flower, and then down here, we need a two bam, a white dragon. North wind. Okay, we got the flower. Now. We'll discard the six. six so this hand is ready to win on an eight crack. We could use the joker to make that a winning hand, but when you declare Mahjong, that those jokers in that hand are locked. So I wanna try to draw it so that we can use this joker down here. Maybe we can declare double Mahjong. And that may be what they're trying to do over there too. So it's tricky. nine dots all right there is a joker so we're gonna wait we're gonna Six hold dots. we've got the white dragons here there are no one bams out we're one away from from double mahjong what we need here let's see this is a higher value hand so maybe we should declare that one first if we do declare them separately So with this joker, we will be ready to win with a two bam. But we would have to lock One in dot. all those jokers. And then this hand Four up dots. here, we would need an, uh, another joker, an eight crack. There are no eight cracks out yet, and we're in the end game. One dot. We got the eight. Six dots. Okay, now. Okay, I'm confused. Three pair, pair, pung, kong. That's ready to win. Oh, here's the other discard. Whew, I thought that something was wrong. Nine we have dots. we have one more discard here. The nine Four bam. Bamboos. We only need a pair there. Oh, I was a little confused there for a second. So we have everything we need. We're ready to win on both hands, but we still have to discard one. Five dots. Now this hand up eight here, dots. the two, four, six, eight hand, that is jokerless. That will be jokerless. So that might be a good one to declare if, if it goes down. Declare it separately. Okay. Okay, no, we, we, we can't win with that. We need a two bam. This hand is not is ready to win, but we need a two bam to win. That white dragon would not allow us to win on that. Three bamboos. Six bamboos. So we need a two bam for this hand and an eight crack for this hand. And we may declare them separately. There are three white dragons out, so we have to have those there. No one bams are out. No nine bams are out, so I'm a little concerned about discarding that. They may be playing a year hand too, which might be why I'm not getting a two bam. So they're thinking about this six bam here, I guess, but there are three out two out. There are two out. So I don't know what's going on here. Four, three, two, one, zero. Now they pick, I think, what's going on here? It feels like we're stuck. I don't know what's going on. I discarded that six bam. Hmm. Okay, what's going on? I hope we're not lagging here. Um. Huh. What 
is going on here? if I should exit and come back. I'm going to exit and come back. Okay. It's still where it was. So I don't think it's me. don't understand what the delay is here. Maybe they have a coffee break or something. I know that's like a feature in the game. Coffee break. I tried to ping them. Let's see. Hmm. We're like one away from Double Mahjong, I'm not sure what's going on here. Very strange. I heard the beeping. Why is this hanging up? Awkward. Kind of like an awkward silence in a conversation, you know? That is a discard. Why? 6 bam. It says there are 4 out. One, two, three, four, four out. Hmm. What happened here? Is it red? Siamese. They misspelled it. I wonder if they did that on purpose though. I don't quite understand what's going on here. Does this mean I have to abandon the game? Are we stuck? Are we stuck? What is going on here? I want to win. I don't want to leave. I want to win. We have a discard. We're one away from double mahjong. Wait, what was that just then? It kind of flickered for a second. What is going on? Help me, help me. Somebody help me. I'm stuck. I am stuck. There's like this red circle indicator thing. I don't know what that means. Um I'm going to I'm going to chat one more time. Let's see. Let's see if they answer. We're stuck in limbo land. I would much rather win this hand or both of these actually. I don't understand what's going on here. And they're not they're not answering my chat. And we have been waiting for quite some time. So, I am not sure what to do. I think we need to abandon the game. Hmm. I don't know what is going on here. Huh. What in the world?
Hmm. Siamese, why is that? Her, her little square there is red. I don't know what that means. We're just completely stuck. Okay, well, um, I am going to hmm. We're one away from double mahjong. That little indicator changed from yellow or from red to yellow. It's yellow now. So I'm not sure what is going on here. Let's see. Let's see, table info, Siamese. I wonder if it, I wonder if it's being red. You see how that's red? Does that mean that she left? Did she, it's beeping again. It keeps beeping. What does that mean when it beeps like that? Usually it's a warning that the game is going to discard or pick for you and act for you. But for some reason, it's not doing that. If she abandoned the table, the game should pick and discard in their stead. But that is not happening here. We're just hung up for, I don't know, too long, I think. I think I might just have to leave the table as well. I really don't want to do that though, especially if they're really, if they really didn't leave, if they really didn't leave the game, I don't want to abandon the game either. But why would that be red? What does that mean? Does that mean that they left the game? I'm going to have to find out and I will let you know. So, I thought that the game, or the, if somebody abandons the table, that the program takes over and discards in their stead. Uh, you know, a robot takes over. Is that what happens? So that, that's the second question I need to ask. What does a red box mean next to somebody's name? And if somebody abandons the game, do robots take over? Because we need to know how to act. Like, if I leave this game, does this mean that I forfeit and I lose? I'm, I'm one away from double mahjong. So what is the procedure here? I don't know. But we will find out, and I will report my findings shortly. Oh, game was force finished due to inactivity. 500 dragon chips were returned to your account. Okay, the game stopped. Okay, here, let's, let's see here. Um, unfortunately, the game stopped because your opponent left early. You can freely leave the game. Your chips will be returned and your rating will not be affected. Okay, so they did abandon the table. So that little red at, uh, box means that they abandoned the table. And we are not able to finish the game, but we were refunded our dragon chips. So we can leave the table and the game was forfeited. So here's my question. If the game was forfeited, I think I should have won this game. That that Basically, a forfeit means you win. So, in my opinion, when this happens, whoever remains should win that game. I will submit that as an enhancement request, and we'll see what happens with that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next strategy theory, may all your picks be keepers.